Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft Survival. In the previous episode of the Modded Let's Play, we built ourselves this magical, mystical, amethystical nether portal, which we had a decent spawn, something we can work with, something that's not mob built. So we have a decent amount that we can do with our nether, but today is going to be a little bit different. Because today we are going on an adventure. An adventure to where? Well, there is a mod called the Repurposed uh, Structures mod. I'm pretty sure this uh, item or this structure is a part of that mod. I have a couple different of them. And it's called the Overworld City. So the Overworld City is just like an end city but filled with villagers in the overworld and i think we can get some good loot that could help us here and i think it's going to be a good change of pace episode because we'll be able to explore our world and see what's out there so i'm gonna go sleep early Oop. sleep Oop. <laughs> i am not typing correctly right now i'm gonna go sleep really quick and then we're gonna go and see if we can get anywhere close to this end city or overworld city i should say can i ask you a favor could you consider subscribing it would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below and consider liking the video because liking always helps okay we have made it to the overworld city or the if it helps you guys the end city in the overworld it's quite massive i'll give it that that's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, this is basically based off my tests of it in some creative worlds. There's a chance that it spawns with a bunch of village houses that are built with ore. Sadly, we didn't get that with this one. But, oh, we have some baddies. There we go. Did he drop a head? Ooh, he dropped a skeleton head. I'll take it. But we are going to get our way in here. Because there's going to be some decent loot here in this. Okay, so that's not an entrance. I thought that was going to be an entrance. Uh, where is the entrance? You guys pointed out to me? There it is. Entrance time. What do we have in here? Anything good. Okay, so we have this first room. Okay, so let's move you guys into my inventory there. What is in this book and quill? Nothing. You guys are lazy. Y you're lazy. I'm not taking it. <laughs> I can always make my myself my own. For our goal, and ooh, yep, that's a decent amount of loot right there. Uh, we can throw you there. Black wool we don't really need. Some of this is going to be really rich in food, which I think is going to be decent. Not too much, though. I, I'm thinking as the more we go in here, the more better loot we're going to find. Uh, oh, there's a loom. And there's some iron ore just sitting around. Oh, I think I saw a diamond in that one. I just want to mine that really quick. Yep, we have some diamonds and we have a ghost cloak. Excuse me? Okay, let me just get rid of some of this that I don't really need. Ghost Cloak, I'm taking the diamonds. Um, I'll take the obsidian. It ain't gonna hurt. That is a lot of food that will just go wasted if I don't grab it. Okay, that's good. That was good. What does this do? Is it a... How do you attach this? How do you use it? Is it one of these... Okay, so... You have to click on it, and it gives you an effect. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Let's head up here. Let's see if we have anything else on the next level. N nothing in you. Okay. Note to self, those don't really have anything in them. Ooh, you're hiding from me there. Ooh, a villager's hat. Okay. Do we have anything? Okay, so we have the goggles on. What happens when we put on the hat? So the hat has a decrease. It decreases the trading prices of villagers. Okay. 
I guess for this situation, we should keep it on. <gasps> That's a glare. It's the first time I've saw those in the series so far, because I know I added the mod to it. But I haven't really found too much to find or make the items or items to find the things needed to bring those guys to life. And oh my. Okay, some coal. I'll take the coal. I'll take the emeralds. That's good. Decent amount of loot right here. If I had fortune, this would be awesome. Really, really quickly. But to the lore of this modded world, let's just say that this is like the predecessors. This is basically what existed before. Um, before the end city. So the end cities are like there. Those are ancient. These are basically newer versions of those, or just the existing versions that we have to our overworld. If you know what I mean, what I'm trying to say there. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that the version that we have is kind of like a copy. That's what I'm trying to say. I know a lot of that didn't make any sense at all, but I'm trying. I'm trying. You just stay in there. I don't want you. I want these, though. These are good. Now, I don't know if there's anything outside of that for the loot. Okay, so we have some redstone. What is in this one? So I know there's some where there's a bunch of, like, terracotta. And within that terracotta, there's, like, some loot. Okay, so we have some rockets. Maybe this was before they came up with the concept of elytras, and they were like in the in the process. Maybe that'd be cool for like lore reasons. Okay, here it is. This is the room that I was referring to, where there's a bunch of terracotta. So, in my test with the terracotta, there's like a chance stuff can be behind it. I'm not gonna pick up the terracotta. I can always just find more spots to have them in. Ooh, look, a glare. No, I killed it. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Yeah, there's a chance there could be something in here. I don't think it's high. I think it's just terracotta. Sadly. I think it's just sadly terracotta. Okay, it looks like we have a farmer's room here. With an iron hoe and some supplies. Uh, I'm not going to pick them up too much. Because I have a decent farm already with a lot of stuff. I'm mainly looking for loot. So, any loot over here? Ooh, looks like we have something right there. So let's just grab those out of the way. Oh, yep. There we go. Diamonds. I'll take the food ones as well. And there is iron... Armor and tools, but we don't really need them at the moment. We don't. Any good trades on you? No, there is not. I thought maybe there would be, like, decreased trades. Okay. Enchanted grass. What is that? We're getting a lot of enchanted stuff, which is cool. Uh, I think we'll give up the seeds for the grass. And then we're really getting a lot of apples. Yeah, we're getting a lot of enchanted loot, which for me is really good. It's a good thing to get the enchanted loot because that can help us determine on the situation we need it for, you know? Because it'd be cool to have some speed boost as time goes on. Um, how much more of these are we going to have? Is there going to... Hopefully there's like a villager that has like just some overpowered trades. Because we're now up to 23 emeralds. But something tells me we're not going to have the best of luck. Oh, ow. Can I jump? There. Okay, I don't think there's anything going to be over here. Well, that's fantastic. So I wasn't able to save everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. God. Oh my, I'm stupid. I'm literally listening to a Minecraft video while recording, and I just heard a creeper noise, and it freaked me out for a second, but oh well. Uh, we do have all of the main loot that I was really excited about. We unfortunately lost the, the hat and some of our stuff, 
Uh, we do have another power glove back at home, so I'm not too worried about that one. But like, missing out on that, on that, uh, <laughs> on that villager hat kind of sucks. But for the most part, I think we've explored as much as we can here. Because we've gotten the most spots on every end. So I think it's time for us to head home. And discuss some plans that I have for our little area. a little base area. Over at home. So it's going to be a while. Because this is like 10,000 blocks away from my home. Fun. Okay, we're now back home at the base. And which one of these had our power gloves? Um, was it this one? I know it's one of these. There it is. There's the power glove. That's one of the ones we needed to get back on our body there. Ah, uh, the scarf and the other one. Rest in peace to those two. They lasted us for quite a while. But we did get some decent loot from that. We got obsidian, we got diamonds, we have emeralds, we have this ghost cloak. We have this, uh, enchanted grass, just as there are powerful heroes who call, or who answer the call to fight. There are powerful enchanted sheep who will join the fight. Oh, that's cool. So it, it basically summons battle sheep, is what I'm hearing here. But, there we go, uh... And I did I did pick up some items as we continued on going back after we had died. But we do ha I want to show you guys these really quick before I continue. Uh, okay, yeah, it's going to have to be on dirt. Look at that. It's almost drastic like in its appearance. It's really cool. I like it. And then we have this which is the reach yet uh Re reach ya. Yeah, that adds to a little bit, so... For a second, I thought these were... Those, uh, that mod where, like, it, it grows and it becomes something that attacks you. I was wrong. I'm happy I'm wrong. Because that would have sucked. But, now it's time to discuss my plans. Uh, for the series, in terms of our first really ever big building project which is going to be project mushroom what's project mushroom beard boy well somewhere around here i do want to keep it somewhat close to this because it's our starter area it'd be cool to keep everything within our starter area either that or we move on but i do want it to be within the uh islands project mushroom is gonna be a massive Mega build project. It's going to be where we're going to be having our mega base be located. And we build over here. Into this area. Because we already have destroyed a lot of the trees over here. I don't think it would hurt. To go and just dismantle the rest of these trees. And create a massive mushroom. It also kind of makes sense because like if you're look because I'm thinking like prehistoric mushrooms in a way is kind of what I'm thinking with uh, the base of what I'm going to do. Not the mushroom top. I don't know what I'm going to do with the mushroom top yet. I have a couple of ideas I want to do. We have an update. <laughs> this mod pack of mine, I have updated it. This is version technically 1.2. Uh, if we're. I don't know if we do 2.0 or if we go like Minecraft. So, in a way, we're we're kind of like in alpha or beta. We're not at the full release of what I want yet cuz I still haven't configured any of my files or anything of the sort for the mod pack. But there is two major announcements for the mod pack. One is that we finally have a name the mod pack's name officially as of right now is vanilla swirled i thought it'd be a uh, clever kind of uh, uh kind of saying or name based on vanilla and you have vanilla swirl which is like chocolate and vanilla i thought that was a really good name and for the most part this mod pack is essentially just an extension of minecraft 
not really too extremely modded. That's why, like, okay, we have a mod map, but we don't have, like, a change in the GUI or anything. There's, like, some additional spots, and then oh, there's a lot of added blocks that I could see Mojang adding to the game. And then another dimension, which is created by the people who work on the better uh, dimensions mods, Young. Well, those guys made their own called Eden Ring. That is now in this mod pack as well, so... Here soon, I will be making a video on that dimension, but we need to explore the nether, and I would like to get to the end of right before we go there, because we're going to have to have some decent gear, because it is an interesting and also dangerous place to be in. We are basically close to a full release. Uh, I would like to get... So I got to get configures. I got to get this fancy little menu stuff done. And then I want to add a couple more things before we get to the full release of the mod pack where I get ready to have you guys ha uh, be able to download it. So that should be coming soon. But until then, on version... Well, this is like version 0.2 and we're getting close to a full release. That's what I'm trying to say. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider subscribing. Subscribing always helps. Consider liking the video. Because it helps the algorithm and comment down below vanilla swirled because the mod pack is now ready well ready as in the name's ready i've been beard boy og and i'll see you guys in the next episode which should be in the next couple days